deal. I was going coast to coast, posterizing a couple guys. That was a pivotal play. Oh, I loved it. You know, because I see it through all the time. Even when his layups, he'll kind of just get really high up there and just kind of just lay it in. So I'd be like, IT, bro, can you just dot the ball, please? Just dot the ball. And I thought Ashley was going to lay it. And then when he turned it over, I was excited. I didn't, I didn't expect it at first, honestly. It was only a one-point game, like a couple minutes before that. I mean, how much did that energize you? Because, I mean, I know the score makes it look a lot more lopsided than it is, but that was a huge momentum play. Yeah, that was that was a big momentum play. I mean, we came down, we got a few stops in a row, and then we capitalized on the offensive end, so. Barry, was uh, today, obviously 10 assists. Uh, congrats on that. Um, is there something different about today's game that you saw the, the floor better? Did you see uh, people getting open more? Uh, uh, talk to us about your, your assists. Um, I mean, I just kind of, you know, I'm a guy who can get in the paint um, and then find an open man. You know, I see the man help up, easy dump offs. I like to get my guys going early on in the game, get them in position wherever they can score the best, you know, try to make them look good. I noticed you talking with Theo going out there. It really seems like the two of you have really gelled together. This is a team where not a lot of players came back from last year's team, and so you kind of had to had to take the opportunity to you know gel together. So how have, how has it been going from your perspective? Because it seems like you and Theo have really gelled together. Well. Yeah, well, that's that's not easy. You know, we only have four returning guys, and it's crazy because I live I live with two of them already, PJ and Ty, and then CJ's return. So. I mean, it's something you gotta embrace. It's, you gotta embrace it because at the end of the day, you want everyone to be close and so gel together. So that's gonna build the, the tightest bonds. And when everything's not going your way, when you hit adversary, you guys, you guys are still gonna be close. You guys are gonna fight through it together. And whatever the outcome is, you guys know you're gonna stick together. What's, what's the biggest difference between the, t the, the team at the beginning of the season and the team now as far as you guys working together? Um, I feel like we just we just keep growing as a team. Like defense is our biggest emphasis. You know, we're trying to get back to being the number one defensive team in the country. So, I feel like we're really trying to embrace that role and be a great defensive team again. How did that finish at, in the Orange Bowl Classic against Missouri? How did that impact you guys? Obviously, a tough way to lose it. Did that is that kind of hard to get over coming into this one? Um, you know, it's it's you got to take that one personal. It's heartbreaking at the end of the day, but I mean, it's next play. You can't keep living in the past because every game we're trying to go one and up. We just focus on the game that's in front of us. What did Coach kind of say about your performance uh, collectively, the team in this one? Like, where what what was he maybe unhappy with, or, or what what was his message to you after the game? Uh, I'm gonna say he was unhappy with the one turnover that I had because it was just an unforced turnover. I just I just threw the ball away. So he would have been more happy if I would have had ten assists and no turnovers, but it was that one turnover. Taylor Hendricks managed to get the same number of shots made as you, but he ended up shooting a little more. Well, what has it been like working with him? And as far as just how, what's it been like working with him so far? Uh, Taylor's a special kid. I've, I mean, I haven't seen too many kids that's, that's 6'10", that can put the ball on the floor, finish that well around the rim. And he can, shoot, he can shoot the ball really well. So it's not too many people in the world that's doing that, especially at that height. Uh, Taylor has a bright future ahead of him. I mean, he, he took 20 shots in May 7. I mean, that's a part of the game. Every night the ball's not going to go in the hoop, so you just have to move past it next play and keep working, stay in the gym. You finished not, uh, non-conference play 9-3, and three, open up with Wichita next week in AAC play. How would you kind of evaluate this, this part of the season? How do you think you guys have done? Um, i say we, we did a pretty good job. I feel like we're only three possessions away. If we add up all our losses, only amounts to seven points. So it's just the little things we have to learn from. Can't take advantage of any plays. We got to... Keep fighting through every play. Every play matters. So, at the end of the day, that's that part of the season's over. Now it's back to zero and zero, and looking forward to conference play. You started off the season a little a little late because of that injury there. How would you say that you feel now that you're kind of now that you reached the end of non conference play? How do you feel now? Uh, I would say I feel great. You know, I just keep rehabbing, keep doing what I'm supposed to be doing, icing, taking care of my leg. You know, putting the right things in my body, just doing whatever I can to stay healthy. What's the biggest difference between this team in that UNC Asheville game versus the team that we see now? Um, I think we had a lot of new guys, so the chemistry wasn't as great. You know, first first game playing together at home, I feel like we had a little bit of jitters, you know, missing three to three of the returners from last year. So I feel like that, that played a small piece, but that, that shouldn't matter because everyone, our depth is really deep. We have a lot of great players on our team. Everyone can score, pass, and finish around the rim. So that's it's just a lot, tough loss we have to learn from. Darius, um, as of right now, what do you think will be the winning recipe moving on? Is it that identity of you know distributing the ball, passing the ball, and see how we have two players with 16 points, 14 points 
Um, do you think that is kind of like the, the winning identity for, for the team moving forward? Uh, I wouldn't say that's the winning identity. I would say our winning identity is defense, you know, making sure we lock in for 40 minutes and playing the best defense that we can play. You know, every play we try to do perfection on defense. I make sure every guy's in the right position, make sure we're talking to each other. So offense is going to come along because we have such great basketball players on our team. We can pass, shoot the ball. We have a lot of great guys on offense. Speaking of defense, you had the three-point ball haunt you there in Sunrise, and you kind of had to deal with it a little bit tonight, managed to put it away later on. But do you think that you did a little better against the three-point ball tonight, or do you think you still have a little ways to go with that? Um, I think we did better considering the fact that they made nine today and Missouri made 13, so I would say we did a little better. But I still think that we let us for three that we shouldn't let up. What's the biggest thing that you want to improve on over the cor over the course of conference play? Like, what's the, the the thing you want to make sure you get down before conference play begins? Me personally, as a team, both. Um, I'm I'm gonna go team. Uh, as a team, it's just defense. Make sure we're communi communicating for 40 minutes throughout the game. Make sure and all our switches are clear and all our all our vocal calls on defense are clear. And just making sure we lock in. You know, we can't take can't take advantage of any possession. Make sure we're locked in for the full 40 minutes. Thank you, Darius. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Darius. Merry Christmas.